Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. You join me inside the 2024 Lexus UX 250H. This is the latest and greatest facelift model. So we've now got things like the 12.3 inch touchscreen. We've got this little pad here where this kind of touchpad used to be. We've now got heated seats and steering wheel button. And there's a few more updates to this UX that we'll cover in this video. Now, what is the UX that came out Oh, about 2019 it replaced the Lexus CT and it's a small compact crossover the smallest car in the Lexus range currently is the LBX which is a little bit smaller in this vehicle and this car uses a two litre hybrid four cylinder petrol two electric motors to produce 181 brake horsepower and 152 pound feet of torque zero to 60 in this car is acclaimed eight and a half seconds or an eight and a half second range and all that power goes through a CVT transmission. As default, the car is a front wheel drive configuration. You can upgrade and pay extra for all wheel drive where it adds like electric motors and pieces in the back. So up front, we've got the latest UX. I said it's got the same spindle grill that we've known and loved over the last few years. I really like it. I think it looks okay in a car this size. I know it gets a lot of hate on some American uh, YouTube videos on with regards to larger cars like the LX. As you can see, we've got the little L swoosh uh, from Lexus to the daytime runway up front, a little bit like the 2019 CT. We do have a little halogen bulb in there for the indicator, and I do like the fact we've got the two-tone, if not three-tone of the chrome strip uh, for the wing mirrors. Like all other UXs, it does have that kind of clay cladding around the side of the wheel arch just to make it look a little bit more off-roady. I do like the fact that, you know, it's not overstyled, it does the job, it's quite handsome and there's not too much you can say about it, it's as what it is in the tin, it's quite a nice looking UX, they've not changed it too much exterior wise in comparison to, to the 2019 model. It is worth noting there are some models of the UX that does have the colour coded um, wheel arches, I have seen that, maybe all white or all blue or whatever the colour is, body coloured. The boot is electrically operated, so touch the button and the tailgate will come down automatically. So I'm 5 foot 11, I've got enough headroom, enough knee room, going to be plenty of adjustment up here. The seat is electric as well, so I'm able to get nice and comfortable. I think it's going to be great for, even if you're over six foot, there's going to be enough adjustment uh, in the front of the car to get yourself comfortable. Um, same thing with the steering wheel because it's got reach and rake. Even if you're a shorter driver, you can raise yourself up and pull yourself forward nice and easy. This would not be a Cars of Glasgow review without a glove box reveal. As you can see, softly damped, but not lined with fuzzy stuff. And we've got some other gubbins inside there, but it does go quite far back. And there's a little shelf in there as well, so you can put other things inside the glove box there. And it does have a secret button here if you're looking to unveil it. The dash, interestingly, has this kind of rubberized texture material that I haven't really seen too common on other Lexus models. It kind of looks like a woven fiber, but it's rubberized to touch. I guess that's going to be easy to wipe down if you spill it. It takes away from some of this kind of plastic up here and up here. That's quite a nice texturized material there. And on top of the driver's display, yeah, it's not got the heads up display or anything, but yeah, it's a nice big piece of kind of relatively plush feeling plastic. So up here we've got your 12 3 inch touchscreen. I like the fact it's fast and responsive. We've seen it in other Lexus Toyota products, and we've even got a hard power button for your radio volume control. You can just go. And the standard sound system is doing an alright job inside this car, but no way to be copyright. I'll just go through some of this just to show you what you can do at a touch of a button. This car, being the premium pack, does have heated seats and a heated steering wheel, which is nice. You can even leave an auto mode to let the car decide, or you can touch yourself to go through you know, various levels of heated seats. Um, you can do this by going through here, the little button, one, two, three, four. I'll show you that again on the screen as I touch the button. Work your way down. You've 
up to yourself how you want to activate it. But three levels of heating and you can leave an auto just on a cold day like today, let the car work it out. Car does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. If you're into those things, the vehicle does have it and you can access that quite easily. Now, down below, we do have two climate vents, hazard button, nice and central. We've got physical buttons here, which is quite nice for things like your temperature here. As you can see, you can work your way down. We've got fan speed, heated mirrors, circulated air, direction of airflow, touch that button, you can decide where that's going. And then you can drop here to go up or down for your fan speed and that colorates to the screen above as well. If you did want to turn it off, one button, turn the fans off, equally leave it in auto, let the car decide. Down below that we've got two USB-C chargers, wireless charging pad that is angled and down, and we do have two decent sized cup holders in here. As you can see they're nice and visible, easy to get in your takeaway drink cups. So down below we have this CVD transmission that's controlled through this big shifter here, all the way down for drive, you can put it over to sports mode if you like. I'd probably just leave it in drive, being the kind of vehicle that has been a hybrid. Put it in reverse, you get a relatively clear camera, which is nice to see, and all the way up for park. So you're not going to mistake what gear you're in, just purely because you're able to select that all the way down for drive, and all the way forward, fairly straightforward. And over here we have the buttons that where the trackpad used to be, is now for things like your heated seats, and higher models you can get cooled seats. Down here as well on the right hand side, EV mode if the car's got enough battery in it, allow you to drive at low speeds in battery mode, and auto hold which is a nice feature, but it means you come to set of lights or something like that, you can push at that button, push it once and through your rest of your journey the car will stay in the kind of a hold mode to prevent you rolling back. And it's worth noting down here is where your parking brake is, this is the same thing as the Lexus LC, it's a little bit hidden, it's down here on the left hand side of the driver. This car does have a nice reach and rake on the steering wheel and it is all motorised so even when you turn off the car the steering wheel goes away a little bit. Up front we do have the 7 inch display here for the driver. You can scroll through things like menus and all that on this little display here. Inside is where the action is going to be with regards to your speed. Put it into sports mode it will change again. Put it all the way down to eco mode or normal. As you can see there it's changing to eco for blue and you can leave it in sport if you wanted a little bit more LFA inspired graphics. Realistically you're probably just going to leave that in normal mode being the kind of vehicle this is. Nice clear gauge cluster on the right hand side there that is manual with the kind of analog gauges there for your temperature for the engine as well as your fuel tank and you can see that whole button still on from earlier on when I touched that in this video. We have traction control which you can turn on and off at touch of a button and your left hand side here is where you're going to see your driving modes for sport, normal and eco, etc. Up above we've got things like your SOS, door lights, these are touch capacitive buttons as well for your lights which is a nice easy thing to do, there's no big buttons to push. And we even have a nicely soft feeling visor with a little vanity mirror and light. It's worth noting that the UX also comes with an auto dimming mirror, just touch a button, you can turn it on and off. Not too much to see in the right hand side here, we've got your odometer and your brightness for your instrument display as well as a little air vent up here. And down below that we have your boot release as well as your fuel feather cap release and your bonnet release if you require to get into there. On the door card itself we do have things such as power folding mirrors, adjustment there, door lock, unlock, child lock windows and you notice these four window switches we've got one with two lines on it that means that you're able to work out and determine what one's the driver window maybe you're driving at night you can just do it by a touch of a few all windows are electric but just the weather today I'm not going to be opening them all we do have handles that are very similar again to what you see in the Lexus LC materials in the UX are very well built and solid you know it's not the most plush interior however it is one of the more cheaper affordable Lexus models but it is nice to feel there is thoughtful things like little carpet material in there and the door bins themselves you've got enough space there for a bottle and you've got a little bit of storage in here for something else but yeah you're going to enjoy kind of the material and longevity of this product. So I like the fact that the seats have got a little bit of design going on them other colour options are available depending on your trim level this one being premium and kind of on the lower end it is black 
and do you know what? It does a nice job. It's got a nice texture to it. It's going to be easy to maintain over the duration of the lifespan of the car. Now you join me in the back of the UX. <laughs> Again, apologies, it's been very wet. Five foot eleven. I've got decent knee room, head room, as you can see, it's carved out nicely up here. So you're going to be problem, no problem at all for adults. The foot, foot floor, foot does have a little bit. Foot wheel has a little bit of a hump in the middle, which means probably carrying three adults in the back is not going to be super comfortable, but ideal for two. This is going to be a nice ideal family car. The child seat anchor point is where you can get your child. Uh, seat in there no problem and it's a nice load height as well just to get in and out of the vehicle it's also a neat touch that we do have air vents in the back of this car so not every small crossover small hatchback has air vents and it's quite nice just to have this back here it is controlled through the front but at least you're getting a little bit of airflow and you also have usb-c chargers down here now it's worth noting that we do have a little map pocket behind the passenger but we do not have one in behind the driver there but all in all decent back here doing the build call to the car it's a little slightly different material than it is up front a little bit more scratchy uh, but you know it depends how it's back here um yeah it's fine it's going to be nice and easy durable easy to wipe down got kids back here feet etc there maybe sticky fingers so you can wipe all this material down it does have an armrest with two cup holders built into it it's worth noting that the door bins do not, there's no door bin, sorry, on the rear of the UX. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video on the 2024 Lexus UX 250H. Um, it is a very sodden wet day, so apologies that we've been on this journey, mostly inside the car today. Uh, I will put some overlay through this video of the exterior. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel below, and special thanks to Lexus Glasgow for allowing me to have access to this car. As always, stay safe, and I'll see you next video. Ciao. Thank you.